friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are done with the tutorials and topics covered under chapter 7 and we are now moving to the sample questions on the chapter 7. So here we will be having four questions which will be appearing in the examination from this chapter. So let's begin with the very first question of our chapter. You are testing a system that is updated by monthly service packs. You are testing multiple versions of the SUT simultaneously. Your task is complex and you need to ensure it remains consistent across different SUT environments. How will you ensure that the same version of the task is used to test each SUT? Now, Generally, when you talk about such things where it is really complex to handle, we have learned several components, several factors which actually assist these kind of issues with respect to the SUT environment. So we will have the right answer right here. So let's look at the options. We're talking about A, update the task each time the SUT is patched because this is not feasible because you cannot set up everything in terms of task every time the SUT is having a new update involved. B, revert back to the manual testing. I think the entire chapter goes null and void if you're switching back to manual testing or maybe the entire syllabus, what we are talking about is being automation. C, install the task into the SUT environment from a central repository. I think this would be one of the convenient way when you're talking about having a centralized installation which we spoke about in the 7.1 tutorial to understand that this would be quite common and easy to implement any updates when with respect to the SUT environments and uh, D develop a tool to track historical test results I think that won't be a good way to fix the issue because it only illustrates the symptom of the inconsistency in the results but not anything specific to the environment so the right answer here is C install the task into the SUT environment from a centralized repository the next question you have executed an automated test suite for a product that was released to production. Although your tests have passed, there was a major failure in the production in India that is well covered by your automated tests. You have verified that your test did pass and that the reporting of the results was correct. What would you do now to verify the validity of your tests? Here, the options are run test that should fail and verify that they fail. So this is something which is not to make sure because we are talking about the executions. You have verified that the test did pass and the reporting of the result was also correct. What should you now do to verify validity of your test? That is, A is not going to be helpful at this point of time because we are talking about doing the similar kind of thing run tests that should pass and verify that they pass. So A and B are irrelevant at this point of time because they are not showing any problem to you as per the scenario. They have actually been meeting the criteria. When you look at C, check that the post conditions of each test cases are being verified correctly. Verification is one of the parameter. Verification steps has also to meet the criteria whether they are passing or not or whether they are able to do the same job what we are supposed to do with respect to checkpoints or verification steps could be one of the best thing to select now. But look at D, change your test data and run the test again. I think this would be unlikely to uh, matter in our case because this will not change anything. If you try with different set of data, probably these steps would pass again. So the right answer here is again C, Check that the post conditions of each test case are being verified correctly. Well, the last question for this particular session. You are preparing to execute a test automation suite for a safety critical healthcare application. Which approach should you take to verify the accuracy of the test results? I think this was the recent thing which we were talking about with respect to test suite automations and we must actually quickly grab that what would be the right answer for this. Starting with A, execute test cases with known failures and verify that they continue to fail. This seems to be somewhere close with the right answer, but you cannot decide until unless you look into the rest of the options. B, extract data from the production system and verify compatibility with the tasks. So uh, test data 
should already have been uh, used to validate the task so uh, this point actually does not stand good to support the situation what we are looking at whereas a seems to be more relevant than that because this is one of the criteria one of the component which is required to be validated examine historical test trends on the similar sut this would be completely changing the uh, different sut or historical test trends is again not helpful at this point of time and d execute the test suites slowly and methodologically now when you're talking about automation speed of execution does matter and we are not talking about getting slow or getting to manual approaches so again here the most relevant option as being one of the component the right answer is a execute test cases with known failures and make sure that they continue to fail so this was the questions uh, to understand we will be having four questions as said earlier from this chapter so prepare accordingly for that so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else beyond this any more questions feel free to comment below i'll be there to address them and justify the same to you till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning